Hello, Sagittarius. Hello, Leo. Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. How are you, my fellow fire signs? As you know, I'm a Sagittarius rising. So I am grateful for you already. Gratitude, gratitude that you've clicked here. Thank you very much for doing that. And thank you if you are one of the ones who showed some love uh, and attention on the last Leo and Sagittarius videos. I do appreciate you. We are here today to do the readings. They're always for the week ahead. And uh, of course, don't forget, there always is a sneak peek at the beginning of every week. Um, I am here to read for you Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's get some business stuff out of the way, and that is if you are interested in a private read, please look below. Uh, there is a, a yellow dot. All the information you need is there about how to get to Wizio. At this date, on the 29th of April, I am currently um, on a 15-day turnaround time. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> It is, uh, it's, it's tough. I'm a Taurus sun and it is, uh, we're retrograding in Taurus. So it's been super tough in my energy, nonetheless. Thank you so much for clicking here and I will read for Leo first. Sagittarius, if you just want to, um, go ahead and, uh, fast forward, you will find your space. I've marked it out for you there. All right. Whew, those words were hard to get out. So, Leo, before we throw the cards, I just want to tell you that I did a meditation before I came into this reading, as I do always, but I don't usually share that information. But today, I actually had, um, I, I did see some things in my meditation, towards the end of my meditation, and just reading some notes that I took here. So in this meditation, there was someone holding the sun over their head. Person was in the in the star pose, right? Arms up to the air and legs open. So um, being ready to receive something is is how I interpret that. So you are the sun, Leo, right? That is that is you in the major arcana. You are the sun, and so I it feels like you were holding a ball of light over your head, which I assume is the sun. Now a few details that I did see um, were that this person again standing in the star position ready to receive ready for victory there was a crown of thorns on the head of a masculine body so it doesn't you know like i always say the meat suit doesn't matter but this is a masculine body whether feminine or masculine energy is in there i don't know because the person was backlit all i could tell is that they had long hair or if it wasn't long it was longer like it's not shaved short and it was kind of curly yeah all right. <laughs> I don't know if that means something to somebody, but maybe it does. All right, here we go. Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter, Leo. We are looking at the week ahead, Leo. What's coming up for Leo in the week ahead, please? Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter. Let's see if some of what I saw comes up here today. Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter for the week ahead, please. All right. We've got too many. You know what? That did say potential, but there were six cards there, and I, I'm not reading six cards. Too much energy today. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Openness. Okay, interesting, because that's a glowing ball, right? A glowing ball. Like I said, I saw a glowing ball of light, which I assume to be the sun, because you are Leo. It did look to me yellow and white. This one looks a little more gray and white, because it is the moon, <laughs> right? But we are looking at the glowing ball. And the fact that whoever I was looking at was standing in the star position tells me that somebody really is open to receiving whatever the universe is is willing to give. I feel like somebody is is in a gratitude space. This says pleasure. And I feel like there's um, a pleasure in the openness. Somebody is opening themselves up, I believe, to the universe. Just checking over my notes here. Thorns on the head, though. I mean, thorns are earth, and this does look like an earth card. I mean, if we're if we're looking at that energy... Because I feel like the, the crown of thorns is, um, it feels as though it is um, a connection between you and someone else. Like a thought-provoking connection, uh, someone you're connected to energetically, or someone that you feel like you may be connected to that way. All right, let's take a look here. One for Leo, please. The moon rising, Venus and Jupiter. Leo, please. Leo. All right, fell to the floor. What is it? Oh. 
It is deserving. I love it. Okay, look, you're deserving of a new beginning, Leo. It's coming. I think that you just have to choose it. Yes, discovery. I was just going to say choose it. You have to choose it. You have to find it. You have to notice it. Understand that everything that you want is always in, in and around you, but you have to recognize it or have clarity enough in your life in this point to see it because not everybody's ready for what's about to come, right? And I feel like you make a discovery of some kind that there is a new beginning to be had here. And the universe is saying, of course there is. You're deserving. It might be um, uh, involving friends and colleagues, and so it might be someone you met through work, or maybe this is uh, a friendship turning to love. Um, but it says here that you are deserving. And I think it's because now, uh, um, Leo, I think it, it feels like it over... It feels like a change of mind is what I'm going to say over maybe the full moon, the eclipse, all of that energy that's going on, um, retrograde, all that stuff. I feel like your openness, your openness is what is allowing you to call in all the pleasure that you are about to receive. Um, pleasure. This doesn't only tell me that it's, you know, pleasure, but it also tells me that we're being grounded and because I feel that we're being persistent, you know, that's, it feels like Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here, because we're being persistent in the openness and being, you know, down to earth and really um, getting grounded to find out what it is we really want. I think somebody is really being open to whatever the universe is, is going to bring in. And I think it's going to be lush. Like it looks like such a beautiful, serene, beautiful, balanced scene. And that's the pleasure, right? It's very deserving. You've been through a lot. I feel like we're talking about you remaining open in order to be happy. You are deserving of being happy, Leo. All right. What else do we have for Leo, please, for the week ahead? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We've got blame. One more. Why blame? All right. We've got blame and honesty. <clears throat> blame says I accept res responsibility for my well-being. And honesty says I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So you've come to the realization that if you're going to be healthy and happy, have well-being, have some pleasure, that you're just going to have to be open and honest with not only yourself, but with other people. You need to res uh, accept responsibility for your part in whatever, whatever it is that wasn't working back there. Um, it's sometimes a situation that's not within our control, of course. But I feel as though in your particular situation, if you're connecting with this, that, you know, there, it, it feels as though you are trying to be honest with yourself. Maybe what I did back there wasn't the greatest choice. But going forward, I feel like your openness to be able to look at the self, your openness with the universe, I feel is what's going to bring you the happiness and the pleasure that you deserve. Because I feel like you're really deserving. All right. Let's look at some tarot. What else are we talking about here? Please, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Leo is deserving of pleasure. And for people to be open with you. But I think that accepting the responsibility for your own well-being is something that um, might be fairly new to you, that you're finally being honest with yourself, that maybe it wasn't all them. Maybe I could have reacted differently, or maybe I should have responded instead of reacted, or whatever it is that's been on the loop in your head. Yep. You are deserving. You are deserving. You just need to take your part. It's judgment day, right? You just need to, need to take the responsibility for your part. seven of pentacles so there's growth here it's seeds of intention that you're nurturing i feel as though you've been wanting to do this for a long time be open take your responsibility be honest with yourself maybe it was just a slow growth a slow growing process maybe the healing took a long time maybe the healing is taking a long time because that is in the in the present moment here
think you're going to start gaining clarity. Yeah, you're going to start gaining clarity on, and it's going to come after the healing. So I'm going to say if you're viewing this and you're saying, nah, brah, that's not how it's going down for me. I feel like maybe that there is uh, some of you who do connect with this and are currently in healing, like in a healing process where you're not really talking to people, not really dating, not really entertaining anyone else except trying to heal your own heart, take care of your home. Um, I feel like there is some clarity in that, that you do receive clarity about, you know, even though it hurt, hurt hard enough that I had to go into, um, into healing mode here, that it was necessary. The growth was all necessary. It's time to nurture the self, and I think that's part of you being open and realizing that you're deserving. I also feel as though you have been trying to heal for a long time, and the, the way that you know how to heal, Leo, is to um, be by yourself and with your thoughts. I think in those thoughts comes the clarity that you've always been wanting or been asking the universe for. We have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I might be connecting with someone who's in a singular energy. Yeah, who is single, who wants to be single, who likes to stay single. <laughs> I, this is a, a choice because it feels as though someone here is gaining their power or realizing their power, that they, they have more power um, making their own decisions and not having to compromise with another person because this person is trying to get a hold of their finances. So there's a lot of work going on. We're working a lot, maybe too much, only because I only say too much because the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles come out together. Uh, you're the emperor. So Leo, you feminine or masculine, you're the emperor. This is masculine uh, leaning energy for me, but um, the emperor is someone who who's holding it all down by themselves so you're single you're holding it all down by yourself it's all on your shoulders you're making the decisions for everyone and so you're trying to get some stability in that okay all righty let's take a look so um i feel as though I feel as though you've been keeping a lot of things to yourself that you haven't really been open with the people around you. Four of Pentacles tells me that you are holding on to some type of justice, justice in love. You're holding on to one day I'm going to find the person who's my person. Um, you could also be holding on to, I need the justice in this situation of love. Yeah, I finally need to find someone who is, who's going to be honest and truthful, who's going to be, you know, bear, bear their soul to me, someone who I can read like a book, someone who looks like me, possibly someone you're mirroring or someone, I feel like these two together tell me that you want someone to, to pour into you the way you pour into someone else. And I want to say that I think you're holding back. You've been holding back, pouring into anyone, because I feel like this is the situation that you're in right now, which is you're trying to grow. You're waiting in the healing, and the healing's taking a long time. I feel like you're gaining a lot of clarity while you're by yourself. And the Four of Swords doesn't mean you're cut off from everybody, but it does mean that you are being very selective about who you let into your, your uh, mental space at this time. I think that you are trying to process feelings or trying to gain clarity on something about feelings and how deeply you feel things because Leo you do you might cover it up with a lot of a lot of fanfare and uh, giggles and happiness and you know that's nah, good I'm good but I feel like you are trying to gain clarity about how you got yourself right here now uh, which is not necessarily being open to to love right now. It's like I need justice and love, but I'm not really open to it. And I think that's that's energy that's being healed right now. We've got um, the book. 
so I feel like you're holding back because you are a closed book. You are not an open book at this time, Leo. Um, you are someone who, you know, to me, it doesn't necessarily feel like um, when I say secrets and knowledge, it, it more feels like this book is filled with knowledge about you. But I think there are some ugly secrets in there and you're not ready to divulge that yet. I feel like you're waiting. You're waiting to to be able to notice the time when it's right to be vulnerable because right now you're not really sharing anything with anyone in terms about who you are i think you're keeping everyone you come in contact with at arm's length i think this is because you're in some type of growth process or you are waiting for healing If you hear traffic and birds and all that kinds of stuff, I got the windows open. So if that distracts you, I'm sorry. It's just such a beautiful day. Okay, so we have the uh, Four of Swords and the Justice card. Yeah, it feels as though you you really do need to complete the healing process. I feel like you're really deep in it right now. Is what I want to say. There is somebody here who's who's not necessarily the social butterfly that they've been for a very long time. In fact, I think that if anything, that you are reflecting on whatever it was that put you in the four swords i feel like you just want this healing to be done i think that justice in the four swords says i need it i need the balance i just need to complete this karma and and, and just move on and i feel like it feels like exhaustion in the four of swords to me not necessarily healing of mind body or soul but it almost feels like like when you are tired, when your soul is exhausted, sleep doesn't work, right? And I feel like that's the kind of exhausted you are right now. Only because I see the mountain and, and the mountain is significant of, yes, you can achieve anything you want to achieve, but also it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of work to climb over that mountain. Are you a mountain climber? Do you know what you need for gear? Do you know what I mean? Like it, it could take a long time to climb that mountain. Um, I feel like for you right now, the the mountain that you have to climb is in the Eight of Wands. I feel like you want to communicate with somebody. You want to connect. It might be about a partnership. We've got card number 21, which breaks down to a three. It might be about a partnership or a third party. It could be. But I feel like you are... Um, you are healing because, and I feel like you're by yourself, like not by yourself, by yourself, but whether you're at home with the kids or whatever it is, you're just not taking any, uh, making any social connections right now. Because I think you've got a mountain of healing to do. But I also feel as though that there is some type of communication about a third party that you wish to share. You want to talk to this person. You wish to get justice. But right now, I don't think is the time, I'm going to say. If you're thinking about reaching out to someone else, now is not the time. Not when I see this energy here. Healing, trying to get over some, you know, trying to get over some battles. I think you want to do this as quick as you can. Get over the the mental battles or whatever it is that you're fighting while you're in the Four of, Wand or Four of Swords. But I think you need it now. It's like, come on already. I need it now. Justice. Hmm. All right. So I said clarity while you were in um, while you were in the Four of Swords, right? And I think that the clarity is is that you really do miss having a companion. I feel like you miss being deeply, deeply, hopelessly in love. I feel like this is something that you do feel very deeply. That that um, I think that that you are wanting. You know, I don't think you, I don't know that you have anyone particular in mind. It could be a Libra for sure. Um, but I don't know that you have anyone particularly in mind for this ring. But I think that this is, this tells me is this is what you really want in the future. The whole purpose of you waiting to contact anyone to make conversation is because you first need justice in the healing. And I think that's important to, that you need that right now. I feel like you're going to be victorious, though, because of what I saw in your meditation. You've got the sun over your head. You've got the crown of thorns on. You're, you're in the victory pose. Like, it feels like it, it's, it's something you are going to work out. Um, and I think that the clarity you receive while you're healing is that, yeah, you know what? I really do want to 
be engaged, be married. I really do want to exchange my my love energy with somebody. But you're the king of cups right now, which means you're not showing any feeling on the surface. So if you're if you're wondering why a relationship you're in isn't working, it's this because you're not really you're not really uh, showing anybody how you feel about them as much as you may think that you are. You're not showing it. I think in the future, the clarity that's gained in the Four of Swords is that I really do want, you know, marriage, engagement. I'm very passionate. The Ace of, of uh, Wands is on the bottom right-hand corner of the card. Very passionate about, you know, the future and what, what's coming up here. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Queen of Swords. Okay. So the mountain you have to get over does have to do with communication. The Queen of Swords has shown up. It's like you don't know what to say. You don't know the words to use, but you know that you have to say something. Um, now, the Queen of Swords is very articulate, but she has her back to your cause, which is the mountain. So I feel like right now you're kind of um, thinking about it, but not really saying it. You've got your back to this energy here because the healing comes first. You must first have the justice in the healing before you can move forward. And this is this why the Seven of Wands is here. I need to stand my ground on this. I really need to focus on me right now. Uh, as much as you would love to fall deeply in love and engage with someone, um, I feel like you can't. I don't feel like you have the energy to do it right now. I feel that you know that you have a soulmate out there. And I think you know who that person is. Um, someone who possibly is someone who's teetering on the midst of friendship and love something like that but i feel like you have someone in mind here what's the challenge for you in the week ahead it's a challenge for leo please leo we're going to go into the extended um right away because we've got a lot to talk about and we've run out of time already so the challenge is not going too quickly the challenge is not um presenting yourself as a lone ranger because the the queen of wands is the lone ranger right she doesn't need you she doesn't need you she doesn't need you she's the one who makes her own decisions i say she because there's a woman on the card but please i'm talking about masculine masculine or feminine energy um i feel like the challenge is to not go rogue. The challenge is to really think it out. Stay in healing. Make sure you have justice in the healing first before you make the communication. Because if you move too quick, you know, it might end up in all of us feeling very defensive. So what are we going to talk about in the extended? Well, we've got, we want to talk about the deserving and what you feel that you have to accept as your part of the responsibility. Um, openness and pleasure, they go together. As long as you remain open to the universe, right? The moon is here. As long as you remain open to the universe, things will flow. I feel like things are flowing in your direction. But I also think that we need to talk about this here. Um, what is that? <laughs> yeah, is that because it's a mixture of secrets and knowledge. I don't think you're sharing yourself with anybody at this time. I feel like you're at a crossroads in your life right now and you don't know who you want to talk to, but you do know that you have to say something. And I think you're healing before you say anything, which I think is lovely. So we're going to talk about this because this is probably what you want to know about um, the future, right? The clarity on I really want to be with somebody. We'll find out who the soulmate is as we go into the extension. If you would like to go there with me, please look below. It is there is a a link in the description for you. I'm going to go for now. Thank you, Leo, for coming here and watching. I do appreciate you. I'm out for now. Bye-bye. Hello, Sagittarius. See, I told you it'd only take you a second. Thank you so much for coming here. <laughs> Thanks for wanting to watch this video. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. If you appreciate this video and this um, content, please reach out and hit the thumbs up for me. That was going to allow us to find even more fire signs, which is what we're doing pretty successfully. So thank you for your help along the way. I do appreciate you. Let's start with um, some oracle cards and get some energy on the table for you, Sag. And uh, I am your Saggy sister, by the way, so I harness this energy pretty well. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right, here we go. A couple of cards for Sag, please. Truth. Did we go through this or am I? Who got these cards? Truth and stillness. In fact, well, it could have been Aries. I'm not sure, though. I would have to go back and look. So we have truth and stillness. So what I think you're doing right now is you're hermiting. <laughs> I think that you're spending a lot of time by yourself, Sagittarius, and in the stillness, you're finding your truth. So in the stillness, I feel like your third eye is open, that you're seeing things with clarity. I feel as though that you, the things that are on your heart 
are the things that you're seeing with clarity. What I want to say is that, you know, usually the swan mates for life, but even in the mating for life, we all need our own space, right? And I think that you're someone who values your own space, who doesn't, um, who doesn't look at the stillness as an ending, but as a holding place for your thoughts and for your, um, it almost feels ethereal, like maybe it's your dream state. It's, I feel like you find your truth in the stillness. So the times when it's quiet, when no one else is around. And I think that's where you experience the most change is when you're spending time by yourself. I think we're talking about that because I think right now you are, um, I think you are spending a lot of time by yourself. So when I was, uh, as I go into each reading here, Sagittarius, I do a meditation and I did see some things during your meditation today. I wrote some things down here. Let's look at it. Um, someone was holding a pole or a wand over their head like they were ready to throw, but they were also holding a shield. So it almost looked as if someone was sort of in the warrior pose or warrior stance. It did look like a male body type, but this person was backlit by the sun, so I couldn't really see them. But, um, this person was wearing body paint. The body paint was blue, yellow, and green. So blue and green, tell me heart chakra. Yellow, it could have been orange. It could be um, sacral chakra. It could be um, solar plexus chakra. So look that up and see if that applies to you. But it's it, it was almost as if this person was a warrior and was um, prepared for the kill. Do you know what I mean? They had their their... How can I say their shield up and in the warrior pose had this uh, wand over their head. I didn't, I couldn't see if there was a point on the end. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't that um, clear. All right. Quantum Oracle. Let's get one more Oracle card, please, for Sagittarius. So Moon Rising, Venus and Jupiter. The week ahead okay so we have the loving man for some of you you could be dealing with a loving man for sure um, someone who is a uh, male or masculine but understand that you know even male bodies have feminine energy feminine leaning energy so whether you're feminine or masculine this could be you or this could be your person um, so in the stillness i feel that you are thinking about your truth really about this loving man you're trying to make a decision on maybe some feelings and you're kind of going back and forth on looking at this relationship as though is it what i want i'm not really sure it's what i want you keep going back and forth i think what we're looking at is fear of letting go you're you're uh worried about letting go of someone you have fear of letting go and that's why you hold on too tight the back and forth is I'm not really sure what to do. I can't, the fear is I can't make a decision without being scared. And I think it's a decision about wondering if you should let this person go. Should you just let them go? So it feels like it, um, it's, it's what you think about. The truth is, is this person a loving man um, or a loving person? Do they really love me? could be dealing with Leo. I do see that card as Leo because of the sunshine, but I also see it as um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn because of all the greenery, vegetation, trees. This person's grounded. Um, I want to say that this person, oh, I just heard Bruno Mars. I should have bought you flowers and held your hand. It's regret. So I don't know if you're thinking about this about someone or if I'm channeling someone who's thinking this about you. Like they haven't been very good to you, Sag. This person is a loving person. But I think that song that Bruno Mars sings is not about, you know, it's like someone who's lost someone and now is in regret. We have imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. Why imagination? 
guilt. Interesting. We've got gratitude on the bottom of the deck. It says, I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So good. You're in gratitude. Lovely. Also a green card. You might be in gratitude for, you know, whatever you've gone through with this person up to here. We have guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist my soul's growth and imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. So you, I feel, are stuck in your head. Well, I wouldn't say stuck, because the stillness isn't really stuck. I'm looking imagination. There's a lot of purple on that card as well. Um, I feel like you're really um, trying to find creative ways to express what's on your heart. We've got a lot of green in here as well. Heart chakra. So I think you're trying to, to find a way to express how you feel about someone whatever's on your heart but you're not sure if this person's in that's what i want to say because it says i release any beliefs that do not long, no longer assist in my soul's growth and if this person might be someone who makes you feel guilty for for having feelings for them or for having more feelings than them hmm I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my of my mind. So I, I really think that you've been trying to come up with creative ways to connect with this person, which tells me that they're not really connecting with you. That you're the one that has to make the connection, um, meaningful connection. This person might be someone whose love language is buying things. They may think that they're saying, I love you by buying things. But if that's not your love language, you wouldn't understand it, right? It would be a foreign language to you. Interesting. But it does feel like either you or this loving man or this loving person, one of you has some sort of regret about... And I feel, I feel like it's you. Like you're thinking about this, this person in the stillness. And the truth is, you're not sure. Like you feel like this person could give you more attention. That's what the song is about, right? I should have done more. I should have kept you around. I should have. I should have. And it feels like that you feel this person's not giving you enough attention, possibly. We've got the Five of Swords. So you don't really say much because you don't want to start a fight. You don't want to start arguments. And so uh, rather than saying what's on your heart, you actually go into the stillness, I feel. We have um, the Nine of Wands as well. So you're stuck there. You're behind the fear wall. You don't really want to say anything because you don't want to cause an argument. You feel like if you are truthful with somebody that it's going to cause a fight. As I say, truthful, I pull out the Ace of Swords. So I feel like you, oh, wow. You know what? It feels like ultimatum energy almost. Like it's like it feels like you have words for someone. But I want to caution you because I feel like you're in the Nine of, of Wands right now. I feel like you're feeling like the Wounded Warrior. Shit never works out for me, Elsie. Stop telling me that I need clarity. Stop telling, you know, stop telling me not to be in the stillness. I'm not saying don't be in the stillness. I think that's where you find your truth and it's important. I'm just saying don't live there. Um, but the, the Nine of Wands, I feel, is telling me that you are just tired of it all. You're tired of being taken for granted. You're tired of people hurting you. You're tired of the heaviness that you carry. I feel like you're just tired. And you're, I feel like there's something that you don't see. Yeah, he's hiding his face. There's something you don't see. You don't want people to see you. That's what it is. You don't want people to see you sad, see you hurting. So I think, Sagittarius, that you're, you're the person who wants to say something, but you're scared to say something because you don't want to fight. I think you do need some truth and clarity from someone here who I feel you feel doesn't give you enough attention possibly or any attention for some of you the stillness could mean that there's no attention at all
Got the Queen of Swords. Oof, jeez. So I think that you're gonna, you're just gonna go for it. I think that's what you're gonna do, Sagittarius. You're, you're showing up here as the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're just gonna go for it. You're gonna say, look, you need to tell me what I mean to you. You need to define what's going on here. I need, I have a set of very serious questions for you and you and I just need to have I need to have some clarity about whether there's a contract here or not because I'm not going to stay behind the nine of wands forever I'm not going to stay behind the fear wall I think you're going to be brave and say something I think you need clarity for this person and that's why this this queen of swords is showing up here you finally need justice you need to you need to know if this person's going to be the tenth wand. If they're going to hit you, is like everyone else did. That's what it feels like here. We've got the four of pentacles here, and the four of pentacles is telling me that um, you are holding it down for now. That you're not saying anything, but I feel like this is all building. It feels like a building. You see, I. It feels like I want to say something. But I'm, I'm scared that I'm going to speak at a turn or somebody's going to want to hurt me because of the things that I said or the, the contract I asked for. It's going to get it's going to get ugly. I know it's going to get intense, but I'm going to ask a bunch of questions. It's going to make this person completely and totally uncomfortable because at this point, I feel like you really don't care if that person leaves or not, that you need to have a certain amount of of. Um, attention in order to make it worth your while and i think the justice is you get your answers so we will talk about that as well um, i think you've been holding on to this for a while and i don't think you're going to tell this person right away but i feel like it's building <laughs> that's what it feels like it's like it's building now i got something to say and i need the justice but you're not saying it just yet all right we've got the bottom of the deck Oof, look at that yeah fighting yourself five of wands Five of Wands is pertaining to this, but if I do have this conversation with this person, do they have other options? Is there competition for their for their affection? You're beating. It's like you're you're. Um, there's the you you want to be the only choice, but you're still in your head don't know if you are the only choice. And I think that there is a lot of indecision. There's a lot of questions, more questions than there are answers for you at this point. But you require balance. You are someone um, who is definitely about balance, right? That's you, temperance. And you need to have balance in your thoughts, balance in the soul. You're very fiery, but you're not saying anything. I feel that you need healing. I feel that you are someone who does really need a lot of healing in terms of this, this connection still. I still feel like you're angry about it or you have fear that this person is going to take another choice, possibly, because I do see the Five of Wands as being um, competition. All right. Let's look at some Lenormand. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please. Tell me about Sagittarius. Hmm. So the reason you're not saying anything right now is because you're scared something is going to come to an end once you open your mouth. Once you give your truth, you're, you're feeling as though somebody is going to... Hmm... Ooh, so much energy. <laughs> I keep getting cut off by my own thoughts. So um, let's go one at a time here. So I feel like you feel if you say something, it's going to start, it's going to come to verbal blows. It's going to be uncomfortable. We're going to say sharp things or I'm going to say some, some pretty pointed and sharp things. And if I say those things, I feel like it's going to come to an end. And I'm going to become single. Nine of Pentacles, bottom right hand corner. I feel like you really want those. I, I feel like you're going for broke here. You're like, you know what? I'm in or I'm out. Because I don't know that I want to do this with you anymore. So what I do think is that you want to wiggle out of the old skin. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you need justice regardless. Now, the seven is, you know, this This is about, you know, it's like, why do I want to say entrapment? I think that you're feeling that because this person doesn't give you a lot of attention, that they must be giving attention somewhere else. 
and that also is your fear, and you need justice. You must have balance. You could have Libra in your big three, um, especially if it's in the rising. It is going to... Um, it's going to be like this nagging, nagging feeling of I must. Oh, yeah, in the moon sign as well. That I must have the balance. No matter what goes down, I must have my answer. Whether it's good or bad. So I feel like you think still that this person has other people. Hmm. I don't know that you have a lot of trust with them. I think that you are... The Queen of Pentacles in this case, bottom right hand, or sorry, Queen of Wands in the bottom right hand corner. Um, I feel like you have a particular path that you will travel, whether someone is ride or die or not. You have a you have a trajectory, you have a path that you must travel, and whether this person is or is not on that path is up to them. So I think you just need to know. You just need to know: is this person? Is this person going to hurt you? What is their intentions? Is the fruit rotten? Are you going to get bit by the snake? Are you going to go reaching and get bit? Like you don't really know, right? It's uh, it's intense or it is... I feel like, you know, the Queen of Wands, I'm looking at the bottom right-hand corner here, the Queen of Wands is the one that goes rogue, right? So if you go rogue, yes, you're going to get your answer. Will it end? Probably. Yeah, it may. It may push this person away, but... If you're looking for an answer, either way, are you in or are you out, you're going to get your answer. You're going to get your clarity. You're going to get more than you asked for. You're going to get a lot of clarity. I feel You almost feel to me like you're sitting in the back end of a slingshot. <laughs> That's what it feels like. You're like, come on, you're in or you're out. We're going to have this conversation. And if you love me, you'll hang out. We have uh, six on the bottom. Yeah, you're sort of indecision, right? It's, it feels like insurmountable, like you can't get over the mountain. But you have dreams. You need to move forward to love. You need, you need somebody here to make a decision. I think that's what you want. You want them to say, look, I do love you and let's build something. Or you want them to go away. Because being on the cusp here is kind of making you a little bit crazy. This person probably is someone who buys you things. That might be their love language, right? And... Um, maybe they don't give you as much attention as they do nice things. Go look up the love languages. <laughs> You'll find out what their love language is if we're talking about that, them or not. All right, so we have the, the Three of Swords. We have the Six of Swords. Okay. Yeah, and so we have the Knight of, the knight of Wands. So uh, some intense energy here, right? If you're just going to break my heart, then I'm just going to go. Yeah, the three of three of swords and the six of swords. I'm just going to go. I'm going to put the swords down right here, nine swords, and I'm going to go. Yeah. So you're looking for absolute clarity. And this is a two-edged sword, and everybody's going to get cut. You're going in, big guns, boom, right? Knight of wands. I'm coming in. I'm coming in hot, not stable. I haven't thought about it. All I got is questions. Here I come. I want all of the details. Right, That magnifying glass is looking very closely at everything that's going on here and wondering, is this giving me stability with fours or eight? Is it just a lot of work? Am I doing more work than the other person? So what is the challenge going into the week ahead for Sagittarius, please? Sagittarius, we are going to go into the extension. If you're interested in doing that, you can look below um, in the description. There will be a link there for you if you'd like to move forward and look at the rest of this reading. Um, we have the Hermit and the Eight of Wands. So this week your, um, your challenge is um, uh, being seen. I think that you're spending a lot of time alone, right, in the stillness with your truth. And I think in the stillness with your truth, I'm going to say that the stillness with your truth just tells me that you're just not letting anybody in to um, to give you another perspective. That in the stillness you find your truth, but it is your truth. And if you don't have other perspectives, maybe your truth is kind of skewed. So keep that in mind. I'm not saying your truth is skewed, but I'm saying that when you spend a lot of time by yourself, you tend to believe your own stuff. And that's good if you're consuming the right stuff. Yeah. Um, and I don't know that you are, right? I don't know who I'm reading for at this point. So we have, um, I feel like communication is going to be tough in the week ahead. I'm telling you, they were still in the retrograde energy. And if you're dealing with someone who isn't a, a Taurus, then you're out of luck this week. I'm telling you, because it's, 
it's a tough energetic week for Taurus. Yeah, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm a Taurus sun. And this is the worst retrograde I've been through since I started reading tarot. i got to be honest with you. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to the extended if you would like to. We're going to find out why the instability. I want to know what goes up, what goes down here cuz once you once you let that slingshot fly, you can't get it back, right? So we're going to we're going to clarify this whole thing. There's a lot of swords here that we need to talk about. Sagittarius. Look, it's like give me the cup or don't. Here it is. Are you going to accept it or are you not? Four cups. This person is like, "Oh, I don't know." Let's talk about that crap too. All right. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much. If you would like a private reading, please look below and uh, you'll find the yellow dot. Right now, I'm currently at a 15-day turnaround time. Love you guys. Thank you, Sagittarius, for coming here and watching. I hope that you'll flip me the thumbs up on the way out. Love you guys. Bye-bye.